Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and today I just have a small collective haul from a few stores, the Dollar Tree, Dollar General, the 99 and something from Amazon. So I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys what I got. So the only thing I picked up from Dollar General is um, this cute little set of crepe paper. It has all the pretty pastel colors. This was for $2 and it's in their party section. And I think it's a nice little starter pack. So I did pick this up to maybe throw in um, a giveaway. So I thought that was a cute little find. And then from Amazon, I picked up um, it's called St. Patrick's Day Die Cut Pack. And it has over 60 die cuts. And it has a bunch of them in here. And it does have a picture of all the ones that you receive. So um, I got a pack last year. It's a little bit different. And um, I'm running low since I did do a couple little projects for St. Patrick's this year. So um, I wanted to go ahead and have another one just so I'll have enough maybe for next year when I start um, some other projects. And then going along with the 99, um, I was just there and I just picked up the ibuprofen because these are still 99 cents better than a dollar 25 and then I did pick up some foam stickers and I did pick this up um, I have a couple of swaps for Easter so I wanted to go ahead and have this in my stash that I can send in happy mail so these are the glittered ones you can get a bunch of different images flowers um, bunny heads chicks little eggs butterflies there's even some carrots in there and then here's another one this one has some prints so you have some bunny heads again eggs, butterflies, and like little flowers, and you even get some carrots as well. So I thought those were cute. And that is all that I got from the 99. Um, like I mentioned before, I'm just not very, like, 99 just hasn't had really anything great for Easter this year that I'm seeing. So yeah, I'm very surprised. Usually I always pick up some cute little holiday decor, and I haven't really found much lately so I don't know if they're just slow in putting things out or if that's all they're going to get but not a whole lot to choose from this year. All right moving along to the Dollar Tree. I didn't pick up a lot. They didn't really have anything new um, but I did pick up these cute little crew socks. They are the bunny and I like the bunny part because it has like a little bit of like a fuzzy to them. They have a little, they're like raised a little bit. So I think the colors are super cute too. So I did pick up that for some um, Happy Mail. And then I also found these. These were like near all the um, cleaning supplies, like where they have their brooms and mop attachments. And these are soap dispensers. They're 23, 25.3 ounce bottles and they have the pumps. And I was never able to find the clear containers that they were selling as well that you can like refill for uh, body wash, shampoo, conditioner. But I thought this was great for that. Even better because it has the pump. So I probably won't use them for like soap, but um, I'm thinking maybe for shampoo and conditioner. So, and then I can just label it. So yeah, I thought that was a nice little find. So I picked up two of those. And then I was on the hunt for the Skin Nutritions. This is a really good brand. And um, I wanted to try this out. This is their face wash. So I did get two of these. And um, yeah, I they used to come out with like a, I'm pretty sure it was by the Skin Nutritions. It was like a one, two, three step type uh facial cleanser had a cream a cleanser and I believe a toner and my daughter absolutely loved it and we just can't find it anymore so I'm gonna see if she likes this so yeah I got that and then I picked up another one of these these always ring up a dollar so that's always nice and then I found this I thought this was super cute it says mag it's a it's a magnet it says you're terrific and I'm doing a swap for um, Happy Mail Stampers hosting her mini pocket letter swap. So if you guys have like to do pocket letters, that's a great time. You make two and then you receive two and it's also a giveaway. But she's also hosting her own giveaway separate from that. Um, and for that giveaway, she's asking for, I believe it's a birthday giveaway. She's asking for a birthday card and like a little treat or something. So I thought this would be cute for her because in all her swaps, she always asks that you include a tea bag. So um, I'm pretty sure she loves tea herself. 
as do I. I love copy and tea, but I thought this would be cute to give to her. So yeah, a long little story for, <laughs> for the tea magnet. And then I picked up another one of these. I did pick this up for Happy Mouth, so I grabbed that. And then I thought this was cool. It's a um, toy collector showcase, so you can put like your Legos or you can put your little, um, you know, cars in there, Hot Wheels. But um, this actually, I got it to maybe use like as an embellishment box to gift out. So it has like the four compartments and they're really good size or at least, um, let me see if I can get, oh, I probably can't because my ruler is not in the craft room at the moment, but they're at least um, two and a half, three inches um, you know, of space for each compartment. So I should have grabbed two, but it's super easy to decorate. It's just a square. So that is, um, nice. And yeah, I thought this would be cute for an embellishment box. So if I see these again, I'll probably grab a few more, but, um, yeah, I don't know why I just grabbed one. I usually grab two of things anyway, but anyways, that is what I grabbed, um, from this time around at the stores. So hope you guys enjoyed this haul and I will see you guys in my next one. Take care. Bye.